Okay, let's talk about skate tying. There's a lot of different ways, you know, that we see people tie their skates, but from a young age, I think it's important to, to, for parents to know how to tie their skates, for players to be able to get the most out of their boot, you know, the mobility, if there's too much movement in there, if you think about it, when they take a stride, they're losing a lot of power because of the space in their boot. Um, if it's too tight, it makes it harder to do crossovers and transitions. So we're gonna just show you the best way that we think to tie a skate to get proper, uh, you know, technique while skating until you get old enough to sort of find your own rhythm and, and make sure, you know, whatever's comfortable for you. But, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the toe of our boot, okay? We wanna make sure, one rule of thumb sometimes is go a little tighter in the, the front, can be a little looser in the middle, a little tighter, but again, it sort of becomes a preference. So when I'm here, I wanna make sure I'm, you know, giving a good tight pull, okay? We don't need to cinch, cinch it to our ankle, but we don't want it to be falling off our foot. So work from your toes up, Okay, we want to make sure we use every eyelid, okay, especially at a young age. Again, older you get, you might go down one, get a little bit more movement, okay, but we want to make sure we're using every eyelid. Give your ankle until you're strong enough, enough support to be able to do everything you want to do on your edges. So when I'm here, I'm all the way through those eyelids. From right here is one of, the, one of the issues that we always see is, you know, either wrapping our laces around our skate or we come right here and then we go behind first so if you think about it all this work you just did you're sort of losing because all that power all that strength of the laces is going backwards without anything holding it here um, so when i'm here i just want to tie you know just like as i was tying a shoe again don't need to pull it as tight as i humanly possibly can i'm going to pull it keep that arm or finger on it to keep it tight and as i pull it through you notice i don't wrap my lace even one time around my skate or two or three okay they make different size laces make sure you buy the laces that are right for your skate. If you have you know, stock laces in still, they're probably gonna be two feet too long. So go spend, you know, spend the $6 to get laces. And I'm a big fan of wax laces because then it keeps them where you tie them for a longer period of time or a game. So take these, so when you get here, then you're able to give a good ankle support, bend into that tongue like you should, and be able to get everything out of your boot that you can get.